We always thought that Musk wants a fleet of rockets and cars by his side. But is Mr. Musk now interested in an army of robots? The Tesla bot is the most important product that Tesla is developing this year. CEO Elon Musk said on January 27, 2022, on a fourth quarter earnings call, putting it ahead of the Cybertruck and other vehicles, including the Semi and the Roadster. Mr. Musk does like hard problems though, from autonomous cars to trips to Mars, and has had plenty of successes. SpaceX's reusable rockets are widely regarded as representing a big step forward for space flights, for example. So, why is Musk so much focused on bots? What is he planning to do now? Today we are sharing mind-blowing information about Elon Musk focus more on robots than cars, therefore watch the video until the end. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any of our latest videos about future technology and robots. If you think about the economy it is, the foundation of the economy is labor, he said. Capital equipment is distilled labor. So what happens if you don't actually have a labor shortage? I'm not sure what it must first tease the Tesla bot in August 2021 using a human in a robot suit, warning during the company's AI day that it probably won't work, but added that he hoped to have a prototype in the next year. I think it has the potential to be more significant than the vehicle business over time, Musk said of the robot, which is codenamed Optimus. The Tesla boss added the company has no plans to introduce the Cybertruck this year and that it isn't currently working on a $25,000 vehicle. The lingering chip shortage hampers the release of new models without resulting in fewer total vehicles being delivered, he said. While the Tesla robot could be years away and may never come to fruition, Musk said it does have the potential to revolutionize the economy if it can perform tasks that can now only be carried out by humans. Economy even means at that point. That's what Optimus is about, so it's very important. Advances in robotics have allowed companies to replace certain workers with machines, but the limitations of current technology are such that many tasks still need to be done by humans. Optimus is intended to be friendly, of course, and navigate through a world of humans and eliminate dangerous, repetitive and boring tasks, Musk said in August. The robot is an example of Musk's showmanship, in which he announces that Tesla is working on exciting products scheduled for years into the future that helps to energize employees, customers and investors. Often, the innovations announced aren't realized within the projected timeline. For instance, at an Autonomy Day event in April 2019, Musk said the company would have 1 million autonomous robotaxis on the road in 2020. Those robotaxis still don't exist. CEOs also stated that the company's humanoid robot Optimus will one day be worth more than the company's self-driving electric cars business. Full self-driving refers to a set of Tesla-sophisticated driver assistance capabilities that make use of the electric car's onboard cameras and artificial intelligence technology to accomplish duties like automated lane changes and semi-autonomous navigation. The robot is designed to be nice and travel around a world built for humans on a mechanical level with a display panel somewhere on its body to show information. Individuals were unaware of the scope and significance of this program. Elon Musk predicted as those who are astute or pay attention will realize that Optimus will be worth more than the automobile industry, worth more than FSD. The world's richest man Elon Musk described the robot as the most important product Tesla is developing in 2022, more significant than the electric cars business. Optimus is designed to be a general-purpose robot, however, early versions would only have factory-based applications, according to him. Elon Musk has stated, it has huge ramifications for the economy, given that the economy at its base level is labor. It's unclear whether a working version of the humanoid bot will be presented this year, as the billionaire predicted. Musk told analysts during the company's Q1 2022 earnings call late on Wednesday that people did not realize the magnitude of the Optimus robot program. The importance of Optimus will become apparent in coming years. Those who are insightful or listen carefully will understand that Optimus ultimately will be worth more than the car business, worth more than FSD, he noted. Tesla is working on a humanoid robot and the prototype that will arrive sometime in 2023. The Tesla robot will weigh 125 pounds and have a walking gait of 5 miles per hour. The 5.8-inch bot would be used to handle automated machines at Tesla factories, as well as some of the hardware and software that powers the autopilot driver assistance software. The robot's face will house a screen to display important information. Musk also said that the company is working on a dedicated robotaxi that's highly optimized for autonomy, meaning it would not have steering wheel or pedals. And there are a number of other innovations around it that I think are quite exciting, he announced. Robotaxi may reach volume production in 2024. 
Looking at some of our projections, it would appear that a robotaxi ride will cost less than a bus ticket. A subsidized bus ticket or subsidized subway ticket, must note it. I think that really will be a massive driver of Tesla's growth. And we remain on track to reach volume production of the Cybertruck next year. Musk said in August that Tesla planned to put cameras used for its autopilot driver assistance system into the humanoid robot's head. The computer the company hopes will eventually enable full self-driving capability in its vehicles will go into the bot's torso. The first use of the Tesla bot likely will be in the company's own facilities, Musk said, giving the example of moving parts around a factory. He first previewed the product after a human dressed as a robot performed a dance routine at an event in August showcasing Tesla's artificial intelligence efforts. Previous efforts to create cost-effective mass-market humanoid robots have failed. In June, Japanese conglomerate SoftBank announced production of Pepper, a friendly little humanoid, had been paused and would start again only when the robots were needed, much to the dismay of the academic community that used them. That said, robots are increasingly used in factories around the world, with a current average of 126 robots per 10,000 employees in the manufacturing industry, according to the International Federation of Robotics. Many, though, remained skeptical about Mr. Musk's plans. Excel Robotics software engineer Philip Pieknewski tweeted, Anyone who thinks Tesla is actually building a humanoid robot is living in an alternate reality. Mars Bases is more likely than the bot. And Professor of Cognitive Robotics Tony Prescott at the University of Sheffield told BBC News Mr. Musk would face many challenges. If it is being used in a factory, then a wheel-based robot would be much easier to build and have no problems of balance but then it wouldn't be humanoid," he said. We're not exactly calling bullshit on this. But the idea that Tesla will be able to get a robot like this to market anytime soon seems rather unrealistic. Other companies have been trying to create humanoid robots to take over human work for years, and we've not heard a lick about why this could possibly work for Tesla, especially given the short time frame Musk is aiming for. After all, it took Boston Dynamics 25 years of dedicated learning to build Atlas, and other automakers like Honda, Toyota, and General Motors have also unveiled robot concepts in recent years that have barely landed. Why is that? Well, first there's the question of whether a humanoid robot is actually the most efficient way to automate things. Then there's the question of cost and scale, because who is the target audience for a robot that will take away the human drudgery? The obvious answer is those who are currently toiling in the grind. People who don't have enough money to outsource things like doing the laundry or grocery shopping. A Roomba alone could set you back $900. Will Tesla be able to scale its robot quick enough to the point of it being less than $10,000 a pop? Well, that's what we will find out soon enough next year. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Do you think Musk will accomplish his fleet of robots dream as well? Share your views with us in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. And thank you for watching.